Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming kind of a chit chat, get ready with me, but using all clean beauty products. And I'm going to be telling you guys what's on my 2020 bag wish list. So basically all the bags that if I had the money to burn right now, I would just buy it. Obviously, like I said, this is a wish list, so I'm not going to be buying all these bags by the end of the year. I definitely have some bags that are more on the top priority for me to get and ones that I just want to eventually get later on. And obviously my skin is going a little bit crazy right now, so when my skin is acting up, I tend to go towards more cleaner beauty products just to kind of let my skin breathe a little bit and all that stuff. Alrighty, so let's get started. Okay, so first I'm just going to apply some lip balm. So I'm just going to leave this on and let it sink in while I do the rest of my makeup. So I'm going to first start with a primer. I'm going to be using the Bite Beauty Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer for the normal to dry skin. I've been breaking out a lot recently. I mean, it is that time of the month, but I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Especially when my skin is breaking out like crazy, I like to use more natural, clean products. I know a lot of people say, okay, then just don't wear makeup to help clear up your skin, but I don't know, there's something very relaxing mentally about putting makeup on, so. So for my base, I'm going to be using the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin Tinted Moisturizer, essentially, but they have two different kinds. Let me show you the other one. This one is their newer one, which is supposed to have more coverage than this one because this one is like super sheer, very gel-like consistency, which is why I like this. And then the sales lady told me that this one has more coverage, so I was like, oh, why not try it? So I'm not going to be going in any order. I'm just going to be talking about all the bags that I want, the bags that are on my mind. So let's just start with Chanel. So the first Chanel bag that I want is definitely going to be a mini rectangle. I would love to have a mini rectangle in either the black caviar with the silver hardware, but honestly, the number one choice for a Chanel bag for me is definitely going to be a mini rectangle tweed just because I was at this restaurant one time and then this Asian girl had this mini rectangle in tweed and it was so beautiful. I don't even know what season it's from. It was basically a watercolor picture. I'm gonna look up online and see if I can find a picture of the exact bag or at least something similar to it. But it basically had like purple and peach and some violet in it and I just could not stop staring at the bag. Like I loved it so much. I've never been one for colorful bags to be honest, but just looking at that bag once, it completely, completely changed my opinion. I'm just gonna be blending this out. This one still is pretty sheer. Again, these are tinted moisturizers at the end of the day, but this one has slightly, just slightly more coverage than the other one that I'm using, but I'm really breaking out around my chin and I have these like two crazy breakouts by my eyebrow. So as you can see, it has a very dewy finish. For my concealer, I'm going to be using the RMS Beauty Uncover Up, so I have it in the shade 22 and 33. So the shade 33 I use for the outer perimeter of my face and then 22 I use on the inside just to kind of help brighten a little bit. And then the last Chanel bag that I kind of really want is the Gabrielle Hobo bag in the mini slash small size. So I really want the bag in either the beige color because i don't know this is something about the beige and the black that i really like the combination of that or a small gabrielle backpack in the dark gray color i saw this one girl wear it and it was just so cute but both of those bags in the smaller size so i'm just gonna use the same brush usually i use my fingers but i don't really feel like using my fingers right now i'm gonna just put this on the outer perimeter and i have a lot of redness on my cheeks so i'm just gonna and then I'm gonna use the lighter color in 22 and just put this under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose just to kind of highlight a little bit. But just really, really subtle. Okay, so for LV bags, uh, definitely, oh, I already know which ones I want. So I definitely want the LV bum bag, but I really do want to try that bag on first just because I've seen a lot of girls wear that bag and it honestly looks a little too big for my body frame even if you just look on the website and you see the model wearing it it just looks so big granted the model is probably like really really skinny I don't know I feel like she's probably still really tall if they made that bum bag in like a PM size I feel like it would be perfect but when the malls open up I definitely want to go to the LV store 
to try on the bag and if you guys want to see kind of a come shopping with me vlog when the malls open back up just thumbs up this video and let me know in the comments if you would like to see a video like that because then i can film that for you guys but so i'm going to be using this kosas duo it has a very neutral blush and then a highlighter on this side in the color tropic equinox i'm just gonna take a little bit I like this because it's a very peachy but it's still kind of a neutral blush just do the same on the other side and then obviously this type of brush kind of leaves a couple streak marks so i'm just going to use the other side of this brush and just kind of blend out everything and just make the blush look seamless with the base and then for the highlighter so i'm going to use a little bit of this one Bring it up from my cheekbone to a little bit of my brow bone. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be setting my face with the Antonym powder. It's the baked foundation in nude. So it looks like this. Okay, so sorry. So going back to the bags. So another bag that I actually really, really want is the Palm Springs mini backpack, but not in the reverse monogram, in the plain monogram with the black straps. I don't know, there's just something about it that looks kind of classic but edgy at the same time. And I also really like that they fixed the zipper because a lot of people were complaining when they first got the bag like a couple years ago that the zipper and the leather part kept hitting each other and it was kind of damaging the canvas. So I really appreciate that LV took those complaints into consideration and they swapped it out and fixed it. So now I definitely really, really want it. And then I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Brow Powder. And then some other items that I want from LV to have eventually into my collection, but they're not really on my top priority list, is definitely going to add a Speedy 25 Bandoulier, just because I kind of want my Nano Speedy to have like a little matching sister, but a little bit bigger, you know, like a bigger sister. And I definitely want to get a keep all for sure. I don't know what size keep all I want to get, but I definitely want to get one. I'm sure I'll probably buy other bags, but that's it for LV. Going on to, let me just explore different brands. So from Goyard, I definitely want a cap bear bag. So it's basically their crossbody slash camera bag. Like that's what it looks like, um, but it's essentially a crossbody bag with a zipper. I want that in a color though. I think I want it either in green or red if I were to get it. And then the other Goyard bag that I actually really, really want is the Mini Anju bag. So it's essentially made with leather on one side and canvas on the other. So it's a reversible bag. So this bag is actually kind of expensive for what it is. So it's technically a mini bag, right? It's just so cute. I tried it on in store and it just, ugh, the size was so me. It's just for what it is, I was like, um, like I understand it's a reversible mini tote so it's basically two bags in one which is why the prices and obviously since it has leather on the inside that's why it's more expensive because obviously leather is more expensive than canvas I don't know just the price point for what it is I just can't seem to justify it right now okay so that's it for Goyard I kind of want a Fendi baguette bag either the mini baguette or the original baguette the bag isn't very structured and I also like that it Obviously they have the leather versions, but I actually like the fabric Fendi bag, so it makes it more... Like you don't have to baby the bag because it's fabric, so... Oh, so the one I want is just the traditional Fendi brown fabric, but I really like the way that the mini one looks. But honestly, either or, I think it's really, really cute. And I don't have any Fendi pieces in my collection, which is why I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe I should add a Fendi bag. Yeah. <laughs> So next, I'm going to be using the Kosas bronzer in the color medium. So I kind of, kind of, but I probably will never buy it. But I kind of want the Prada Re-Edition 2005 bag. Only because I don't have any Prada in my collection. And I also like that the material is nylon. So you don't really have to worry about it. You could use it for like festivals or just go to, to the grocery store. I actually really like the little, the mini bag on the front. One thing that I don't really like about the Prada Re-Edition bag though is the fact that there's that silver chain. I just feel like the silver chain adds an edginess to it that isn't really my style. But I definitely wish I could try on the Re-Edition bag in store. And I also heard that it's limited edition, like they're not just re-releasing it and putting it into their permanent collection. People are saying that it's limited edition, so I'm not really sure about that. 
little bit of the bronzer and I actually like to take a little bit of the bronzer and just put it on my eyelids. Okay, so then with Dior, I'm not really into the saddlebag. I mean, I like the look and the aesthetic of it, but I don't know, there's just something about it that just long term i just don't see myself using i would like to add it to my collection just as a piece just because it's such a classic style from dior mm, i don't know but for sure i definitely want to add a mini lady dior in my collection the mini one with the silver chain or even the gold one i'm not really sure there's this one on the website right now which is like an iridescent pink that a lot of people have that i think is just so stunning it's not a necessity for me to buy in the near future only because it's not a practical bag i just really want to buy it just to have it in my collection just because it's so it's just so classic it's so timeless but i've seen a lot of reviews that people say it's not the most practical bag at all so there's no rush on that one i'm just gonna curl my lashes really quick all right so for mascara i'm gonna be using the 100 percent pure mascara in blueberry this mascara smells really good on a side note I definitely want to try the Ilia mascara just because a lot of people really like it but it's always sold out so I'm just like ah. and let me think what other bags do I want hmm. and then the last is just gonna be the lips I'm gonna be using by beauty so I have the lip liner in the number 68 and the lip crayon in Leche so this lip pencil is basically like a coral red color Oh, I kind of really want the Gucci Mini Supreme GG Dionysus bag just because I feel like that'd be a really great going out bag just because you can fit a decent amount like a card holder or a lip balm and I also like that the material I don't really have to care about it I know people say it has trouble with color transfer but I don't really wear jeans that often to be honest yeah I really will actually want to add that and the price isn't too bad it's like 7 780 or something like that you know doable bag I know a lot of people are saying that the Dionysus bag or Gucci is going out of style and that's totally fine if that it, even if that's happening just buy a bag that you like just because people aren't into the Dionysus bag anymore doesn't mean that that all of a sudden I find it ugly if you like a bag just get the bag who cares who cares if it's in style you know and then I'm just going to dap it in you know I think I'm gonna add a little bit more blush color so I'm gonna be using the nude sticks ripe lip and cheek pencil just like that just gonna be using this and just blending it out Oh, that's much better. I feel like the tanner you get, the more you like blush. A little bit on my nose. Okay, let me just talk about some bags that are really popular but I probably will never buy. So the first one is definitely the Multi Pouchette Accessoire. I don't know, maybe if they come out with different colored straps, maybe like a pastel blue strap or something like chambray slash denim, maybe I'll be more interested. But if you really break down the Multi Pouchette Accessoire into pieces, a big chunk of the money is going to the strap. So already i don't think it's worth the price to be honest i just feel like it's a very trendy bag i do like the look of it i appreciate the aesthetic of it but it's just i don't know i don't know if it's really worth the price for me which is why i don't think i'll be buying it another lv bag that's really popular is the matisse pochette that one everyone loves i've seen so many videos on it a lot of people love how practical it is just the way that it, you can style it it has a very like business-esque look i really like the bag just looking at it if somebody has it i appreciate it i just rather put my money in other crossbody bags everyone's been hopping on that bag like it's super coveted always out of stock very rare to get i don't know i don't need it in my collection and i don't feel the desire to buy it or save up for it the Goyard St. Louis Toe. I actually used to really, really want that bag. I've heard so many people say within three years and they take very good care of it. They just use it on a regular and it already shows a lot of wear and tear. So that just fact on its own just really puts me off even though it looks so nice. So that's why I ended up getting the Artois instead. I don't think I'll ever add any YSL bags to my collection. I do like the look of it, but I don't know, there's just something about YSL for me and my personal style that I would rather spend that money on getting a Chanel 
or a Louis Vuitton bag. I don't really know a lot about YSL bags. I don't really look into it. I just know the two most popular ones is the really big slouchy bag and then the more business bag. I don't know what it's called, but I'll put a picture up here. It's very similar to the famous Prada bag. It's the one that a lot of people use for business. I used to want it when I was younger, but I kind of grew out of that phase. I don't know. I think I'm just more into bags that I feel like will last over time. I don't know, there's just something about YSL that I feel like is a little too trendy for me. Not saying there's anything wrong with trendy bags. It's just, again, for my personal collection and my style. A lot of people actually end up selling it. They don't end up keeping it just because they say it's not very comfortable, it's very heavy and all that stuff. So after looking at other reviews about it too, that's why I ended up not really exploring more of what YSL has to offer. Oh, okay, the last one is the super trendy bag of probably the last few years is the Gucci Marmont. Mm, I don't know, there's just something about it that I've never liked. Just looking at it, I'm like, hmm, it's cute. And I've seen people review it, the quality of it over time, like the wear and tear doesn't really go the distance either. A lot of people say like there's a lot of creasing by the flap and if you buy the velvet one, that one just really does not stand through the test of time. Alrighty guys, so we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed my little wish list of 2020, which will probably push over to 2021, let's be honest. And if you have any questions for me, just leave them down in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.